Well, welcome to another video here at Atrial Toyota 110 Canham Crescent in Brampton. And as the sun is rising, there's new things on her horizon for Toyota. Just loving this new Grand Highlander. Toyota is now five options for third row seating, and this seats eight people. Lots of space, and it's just been a new addition that has been needed for a while. We've got good colors in this is storm cloud and crystal cream and new to us and it's arguably better than space than even a van i actually drive a minivan i'm a van guy and this has got more improvements than that this is the grade the xle and it's coming in jet black for us and we're going to take a look at it drive it around uh, and it's good for small kids and families as well as towability and things that you need to work in the city and in the country. Let's take a look. Well, as we see here, we've got the Sequoia sat here right beside, this is the Limited and Hybrid, right beside the Grand Highlander. Right away, you can see in the differences. Now, keep in mind the Sequoia, it's a 208 inch long vehicle where the Grand is only 201. That's not much difference at all. And consider that the Sequoia is built on the same frame as a Tundra. So you're really looking in essence at a truck where the Grand Highlander is built on a different form than that. And you can just see even that it's dash, keeping with that really low profile, a lot lower than you'll see on the um, Highlander that is existing model. But now the Sequoia also brings that down really far there. And there's some towing capacities that happen with that front dash as well. Just looking along the side of the Sequoia at that length, just seeing the, the tire size, very comparable. The Grand has the 20 inch tires to be able to use that way, keeping it nice high off the ground. Very comparable in sort of the uh, elevation from the ground. And then we're looking at the back here, Grand Highlander standing out. Don't know if you can see it in that sort of, it's blacked out, sort of just stamped on there uh, with the badges in silver and then we go to Sequoia it's in silver standing out as well and so just comparison wise I'm looking at these rears and you'd think okay Sequoia does look like it has a higher roof profile than the Grand but we're going to look inside to see how comparable that is because that higher roof allows for more seating in the back and more cubic feet for storage just thought I'd take a look at the storage in the back Again, seats are up in the Sequoia here. We're looking at that and it has 22.3 um, cubic feet of measurement there. And you can just sort of see what that looks like. Headroom is very low. If you see those seat headrests very close. The Highlander has 16, the normal Highlander. And then the Grand Highlander, again, the seats are tilted down, but the headroom looks a lot more because those seats are lower and the space even though it does actually look a little bit bigger from my view here, it is 21 cubic feet. So that's a little bit of a look at the capacities of these two vehicles and the comfort of that third row seating that we're talking about. Well, taking a little bit more looks at the exterior, this is the XLE, so it's not gonna have all the things that the Platinum uh, does, but I just noticed right away the great lighting that sort of follows along here, uh, just sort of ties right in, and you see that also on the uh, rear view mirrors being able to see. What stands out to me, and this is what Safety Sense is all about, you'll see that camera right there in the center. Uh, that peripheral range is much greater than what our eyes can see. And don't, normally the Safety Sense comes into the badging and it's only been that way, but that camera now has enhanced it quite a bit. Uh, we've got McPherson suspension that's gonna be on the uh, models that for safe travel, but also for that smooth ride. Again, moving along, because this is black, it's got that silver sort of chrome going throughout the sides here, just little touches for the base XLE model. Looking really sharp. And we're looking at the engine, if we come up to it, with the 2.4 turbo in the um, Platinum model, we just have the look here under the engine, seeing that turbo in the, the XLE as well. And so that is going to move you down the road, getting some fine numbers in torque and uh, 300 pound feet of torque. Also as well, 265 horsepower. 
Now the hybrid takes that of course to a whole new level in the horsepower, uh, like 400 pounds of torque and uh, that's amazing for this car. This one here is about 10 kilometers per 100 or 10 liters per 100 kilometers in fuel and the hybrid gets you 8.8 .8. and so that's the kind of specs that are coming your way uh, for the performance. Well, as Toyota always brings out little fun little nuances, you can just see the Grand Highlander and a really cool sort of faded uh, look, really classy on the fob, but different ways to get in. Again, you can lock and unlock by just having the fob on you. I'm jumping into the front here and I'm gonna turn this on. You'll be able to look at the digital screens out in front, the multi-information screen, and then slowly you're gonna see the infotainment screen. Has not been programmed to anybody, but great size, 12 inches, being able to see across, getting the information you need, keeping to that Highlander stance that they'll be able to have uh, sort of that very similar to those models. Just looking down with all your comfort in the cabin uh, things, you're keeping that going. And then also the modes, the sport modes, being able to shift from that to click onto, being able to move that around, um, being able to see that on your multi-information and you've got the rock and dirt sand and mud uh, those are extra features got snow great to have that in Canada lots of space in here a little different than the Highlanders you've seen before but the console just feels a lot more meaty able to uh, rest your arms nicely in that again very simple finish just very satin finish on this I know that the platinum will carry much more and then the seats it's got the perforation that you think that it would have the ventilated seats but this does not and so but very still a nice plain but classy look for the low base model of the grand let's jump in the back well i think this is what the rave is all about because you just look at these seats here this looks fairly typical again now that there's eight seats eight seats is uh standard for all of the vehicles just pulling that lever move the seat forward here now this is where it's special it gives you 15 centimeters more leg space and another four to six centimeters head space depending on which area you're sitting in so it easily fits someone who's around six feet uh, in those seats uh, able to travel long travel the long distances for you and then those seats also can come down giving you a bigger cargo space in the back if you're carrying lots of luggage A little bit of the safety test kicking in there that I didn't put the hood down. And we're back in action. Wanting to take a little bit of a test drive. Again, because of the clearance, you feel safe being able to move through most terrains and even have the settings for that. Very comparable with these settings. They remind me of sort of the TD, TRD and the uh, trucks uh, being able to maneuver that way. but. Easily handling bumps. Very smooth ride. Let's see if I can get us just moving down the road a bit. Enough torque. The towing power. The Sequoia has about 8,900 uh, pounds of towing. Uh, this has only got five, and so you're going to experience a little difference there. If you're looking to take your big yacht with this, that's probably not going to be something you do but it will get you moving your ATVs, um, maybe even wood, things that you're transporting up and around to the cottage. Very smooth ride again with these, the suspension that's here. Um, again, not programmed here, but it does have a great sound system. Not gonna put it on while we're traveling, of course. Um, handling the corners, just great. And I like that it's keeping the kilometers uh, or liters per 100 kilometers down low. Even with the hybrid Tundra, it's still 12 liters and this is 10. So there's a bit more economy thought up in this. And I think that has to do with the type of engine it is. Turbo always helping that. For power, but also for efficiency. Hitting the gas. Definitely push back in my seat. It's not the most powerful. I'm looking forward to sitting in the Platinum uh, with the, the Max Force uh, addition in that, but I know uh, this is 
not underperforming. In fact, I do feel uh, a bit more than even what the Highlanders in general do, and they're a smaller machine. Well, thanks for joining us on another video here at Actual Toyota. If this is what you want, please order, make an appointment. We would love to set you up with one of the Grand Highlanders today.